Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. A new Windows 10 build to look at. This is 18917. It's so fresh that um, I've literally just finished getting this up and running. I'm actually out, out and about this week, so I'm here in the car with this build on my Surface Go, and I haven't tried anything yet, so it's all be new to me. Well, so far these builds haven't had a huge amount of changes, but um, the first thing that Microsoft talk about in this build is some changes to the delivery optimization for throttling downloads uh, because some insiders have had issues with it taking all the bandwidth up when the builds when the uh, when the uh, builds are downloading you can now set separately the foreground da uh, downloads um, and the background downloads so there's the foreground there's the background so you can now limit those so that um, it doesn't take all your network up while you're um, while you're downloading in the background, you can set it so that your browser session still works, but the uh, the, the the download that's going on in the background uh, takes the connection, you know, uses what it can, but not actually maxing it out. So it gives you that flexibility. It's an actual, I think there's a group policy setting, but Microsoft have uh, enabled in this. Uh, the other changes Microsoft mentioned in this build are some uh, changes to the data table reading and narrator. I'm not going to go through that. And the uh, Linux subsystem 2 for Linux uh, has been updated, and um, that's something that I'll probably show in a separate video. So that essentially means that you can run Linux on your device, but it's not running as a virtual machine. So you can install Ubuntu on here from the store, and that means that Linux is running on this machine, but you're not emulating it, it actually runs on in the main subsystem. Now the next thing I want to show you, I'm going to get my Surface Pen out of this, because Microsoft said they've, um, they've improved the Windows Ink workspace. I didn't show this in the last video, so let's have a look. So there's the Windows Ink workspace, let me show you that. Now I've got there is the old settings, so it looks like they've not updated those on on my machine yet. Um, so not everyone's got it, but it's actually a cut down version of this you should get. So I'm still showing you the full full version of there. So hopefully I'll get that soon. So I've got my pen ready, and uh, we'll see that soon. The rest of the changes are all fairly minor. They've uh, fixed an issue which I did see. I think it was in the last build where you're getting excessive RAM usage during uh, as it was downloading the build and actually in some machines it would completely bomb out uh, so they fixed that um, they fixed some issues where you couldn't use the desktop features as an added feature uh, they fixed some issues with the emoji panel lagging and some start menu issues of it going 100% transparent uh, there's still some known issues with this build I had no issues installing it but Microsoft do have a note saying that you might get a 0x000049 error when downloading. I didn't get that, and you might not see the downloading uh, dialog box in Windows Update. And again, I didn't get that. Although I, that is Windows Home, and I've got Windows Professional on here. Uh, still, we've got the anti-cheat stuff. Where if it's software issue, if you've got an older machine, still real tech uh, uh, SD card issues, and uh, some users have found an issue with File Explorer search is only. Um, is actually crashing. So those are the changes to this build 18917. There's still not a huge amount of feature ch new features in these Windows 10 builds at the moment. Hopefully we'll get something new soon. I suspect we're kind of going to get these minor tweaks all the way through and it'll be a gradual rollout. Anyway, so that's it 18917. You can see more on our YouTube channel. Subscribe if you like the videos. You can find me on Twitter at Iris Dixon and on the digitallifestyle.com.